Hi, I'm Gordon White, the publisher of Truck Camper Magazine. Today we're going to take a look at a 2009 four-wheel gray. Wait, hold up, stop. I gotta do something different this time. Hey, is that an ATV? Hi, I'm Gordon from Truck Camper Magazine. Today we're filming on the back of an ATV to capture the true essence of what four-wheel campers is all about. Off-roading. Now that's more like it. This summer, we visited Go Anywhere, the four-wheel camper distributor in Eagle, Wisconsin. There, we took the opportunity to check out four-wheel campers and take them off-road on the Dempsey Farm. Well, it was more like dirt roads and farm pastures than what some might consider to be off-roading, but you get the point. Four-wheel campers are designed to go just about anywhere. We really enjoyed our time in Wisconsin with Sean and Deanna Dempsey of Go Anywhere and highly recommend asking them about their adventure stories with their four-wheel camper. You may remember Sean from a certain incident at the truck camper show in Nebraska last year, but that's another story. Go Anywhere keeps about six to eight four-wheel campers in inventory, all kept inside and out of the weather. We asked Sean to show us exactly how a four-wheel camper pops up and pops back down. From the inside, Sean began by pushing up the front of the roof with the help of the lift assist mechanism. At the same time, Sean pushed the front wall mechanism forward until it snapped into place. Sean repeated this process for the rear roof until the rear lift mechanism also snapped into place. To pop down, Sean first secured the four soft wall windows and then attached two bungee cords that pull in the soft walls while lowering the roof. Sean then unsnapped the front wall lift mechanism and gently lowered the roof until it rested on the bed. Again this process repeated itself for the rear lift mechanism. Here's Sean breaking camp and popping down his four-wheel camper in fast forward. You will notice that he secures the roof to the camper with latches and tucks in any soft wall that is protruding out. Naturally, these latches also need to be released prior to popping up the camper. This entire process took Sean about two minutes. Let's take a closer look at a 2009 four-wheel Granby. On the driver's side, there's a 20-gallon water fill, 110-volt plug-in electric cord, and on this camper, an optional hot water heater. On the rear of the camper is one five-gallon propane tank. Stepping into the four-wheel camper, the passenger side rear features a storage cabinet with shelves and above the couch, more storage. Also on the passenger side, the couch flips down and converts into a bed. Underneath the couch, there's additional storage. On the driver's side, the kitchen features four drawers and three cabinets for storage, a sink with electric water pump, a Formica countertop, and a two burner stove with cover. This particular camper had an optional three-way 1.9 cubic foot refrigerator. The overcab bedroom area features a queen-size slide-out bed. The four windows in the soft wall have three layers. The first layer is the soft wall itself for the most insulation. The second layer is a clear plastic to keep out the wind and rain while letting in daylight. And the third layer is a fine screen to allow in airflow while keeping out the bugs. Well, that's it for our video view of the 2009 four-wheel Granby. Thank you for watching Truck Camper Magazine.